Previously on Fool's Gold Sands. In front of you guys are three tunnels. You can see a fairly large creature about the size of like a bear come charging across the bridge at you and it doesn't look too kind. I mean, I'll just take out my meteor glaive and then as soon as it runs away, it, he just like long rage just slashes it. And then he stuffs a half of the creature inside the pillowcase. So we might be dealing with an entire nest of these things. Mm. Uh, so you stumbled over a corpse rooster, but you do notice a bag on it. Congratulations, it's a bag of holding. He says, okay, I think that's good. We can go now. But and the door slams shut. Okay, you both notice the stalker in the doorway ahead. Who goes there? You head over? Yeah. There's nobody there. I suggest we keep going forward. Plus, we can also kill something really big, which is the whole point. For... <laughs> Um, as you go through these hallways chasing after Rooster, you do sp you spot a few like religious artifacts and busts. Let's say there's an amulet with a sigil on it. I'll nab that. In front of the statue is a very, very large creature. The queen. The queen. The queen. The queen. Puts his hand over your over your face ah. again and looks at the queen. Why do you think we would help you? Help me find children. Help me feed children. We help you cross desert. And now we're coming to a conundrum. Uh, I mean... Rooster takes Cora's hand off of his mouth and like, or he like licks it. <laughs> okay, this is a weird moral conundrum. That's so if we Boris side with the bug creatures, we get passage across the sand sea, but everybody in the two towns is still going to become their food. Yeah, I don't really like that. Linda wouldn't be super stoked on that. Babies hatch soon. We'll need feast. Okay. I get that. Hungry family. A lot of mouths. Sorry. Knuckle cracking ASMR. Sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting we're being recorded. <laughs> my my need to fidget. Hmm. I mean, there's like, like, this is not Rooster, but I'm just thinking like, what would he do? Core is willing enough to just be like, all right, fine. Whatever gets me to the place I need to be to. Mm -hmm. You know, he's about results. He doesn't feel any kind of emotions towards these people. He's kind of like, I got it. We got to go. No, I know. I'm just, I'm mostly just trying to think like what his moral compass is in this situation. Well, ideally for Rooster, it would be that everybody can be happy. Yeah. That yeah. the bugs cannot, can be fine, uh, but not eat people. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is this unlimited? Points to the, the water. Yes. We, we have been, been drinking from it. And you can make like honey. Anything. Anything? And does it have to be liquid? Yarnik only knows so many things. Is it always have to be liquid? She thinks and's like, probably. He puts his finger in it and he thinks of meat. It does not turn. Uh, maybe it turns to blood. Blech. Okay, I don't like that. Because the problem is, is that it's like these things are going to eat people that yeah. sh that he wants to live. So yeah. that's not that's not cool. She touches the jar, and it changes to a um, a white substance. I mean, he touches it, mm -hmm. licks it. Just mayonnaise. Delicious. Okay. You like mayonnaise? <laughs> Goes good with meat. You're British. He's not wrong. Um. Okay. Let me think. This is like a weird moral dilemma. You're so welcome. I'm sorry. Which faction would you like to side with? Uh, well, the problem also is that, like, if Rooster wants to kill these bugs, there's a lot of fucking bugs. Like, we've almost... I mean, I'm not super low on health, but still, like, this is a lot. I mean, I'm at half health. Yeah, you're at half health, and it's like... You guys We need can... a lot of fire. I will also just remind you, she's technically giving you two quests. You could choose to do one before you decide. Or What's so? the two choices? Well, she said, find the thief and mm -hmm. help me feed my babies. Oh, Those okay. are the two quests you've been given. Oh, okay. If you had a quest log, you'd see two entries in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Rooster pulls Cora aside and goes, okay, look, I get it that you kind of want to go. Uh, this place is not great. But I don't know if I could really lead this thing to just eat people. That doesn't seem really cool. 
However, this thing's got a lot of guys, a lot, a lot of peoples, and I don't know. Um, I'm wondering if we should try to find the thief because then we have somebody else who can help. Mm. We have to stop it from happening to, you know, eat people, right? Correct. Or if we give the bug queen what she wants, she'll transport us across the sea. But assuming that she's not lying. Yeah. Assuming bug we, bugs can lie. I don't know if bugs can lie. You have insight available to you if you wish to use it. Have I ever seen one of these creatures before? Well, not insight, sense motive, sorry. Uh, you've never seen these before. Can I roll an intelligence? Remember, Rooster's brain is like Swiss cheese. Yeah, why not? Cool. Eh, only an eight. You've never seen these before. Never seen them I'll before. Roll sense motive while we're at it, just to be sure. Oh, not one. Uh, yeah, you have no idea. Sure, whatever. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm too tired of this. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah, and Rooster's very trusting, so I don't think he would even think these guys would try to double cross us. I'll make a proposition to you. Okay. All right. Ah. We will find the thief. Cool. But what happens after that is up to me. I've been following your lead this whole time, ah. watching, chasing after you. Which would be doing just fine. Mm-hmm. Can't deny that. It's only fair that the next decision be mine. Okay, but you're not going to let people die, right? I will make up my mind about what to do when we get there. You're right, we don't have all the information yet. This thief might provide important intel. And also could probably help. We'll see. Cool. I turn to the big bug. We'll find the thief. Goody. I'll be waiting. Would you like backup? And she points to her flanking guards. No, no, no. They can help. No, I'm good. Wait. No, I'm good. I'm good. Hmm. How are we going to find this thief? Uh, how are we going to find the thief? I'm asking you not. Why are you asking her? She doesn't I don't know. I would have found it by yeah. now. Well, then. I don't know. Like, have you seen what they look like? No. Oh. So you're just eggs go? Yes. Are you sure they don't just crack open and walk away? Yes. I have hive guards ensuring you that. Weren't you st- struck with something? Like the big thing that's sticking out of his shoulder. still sticking out of your yeah. shoulder? Unless you pull it out, No, yeah. no, no, he's still got oh, it on okay. his shoulder. All right, he well, he forgot about all it. All right, I'm going to, Coral, just rip it out. He's like, ah, oh. <laughs> Pull, pulls it out. I forgot about that. Takes a look at it. What is it? Uh, it's a, you know, roughly pencil-sized needle, and you can see this kind of needle runs along the backs of all of these creatures. Okay, so you were stabbed by one of those. Yeah. Yeah, this happened during one of its attacks. Okay, but we definitely did see a humanoid thing. Oh, yeah, you did. Ah, we saw some shadow And thing. they were in the temple. Okay, okay. So then, easy. We'll just keep going through the temple and see if we find them. That could take days. Nah. Pfft, hour tops. Let's go! And then he walks off. Wait. Power slides. Uh. Yeah, he like walks. Wait a minute. Then start sliding. Yeah, run, 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 run. <laughs> Slide. Bye. What? Hang on a second. What color are the eggs? Let's say they're yellow. Okay, they're yellow. Yellow. And they are like... They're not uh, hard-shelled like chicken eggs. They're mm. like they're kind of like a membrane. What color is the mucus? Light green, I believe I said. Yeah. Like a kind of translucent green color. Is it close to the yellow? In like, Because you can have green yellows. Sure. Okay. Uh, before you go, before you power slide away, or hey. maybe at the very end, I'm just going to nab that skull from you real quick. Okay. Okay, I've got the skull. Mm-hmm. I'm going to... Drench it in slime. Okay. And make it resemble as close to an egg as possible. So the problem is that the egg... Oh, well, no. You said it's roughly the size of a head. And it's it's a color close enough. Yeah. I'm going to pretend I have an egg. Okay. You have a lumpy egg. I have a lumpy egg. I'm setting a trap. Okay. So do you chase after Power Slider over here? Whee! I guess so. I'm going to follow okay. him. Uh, Rooster, you've entered a random door. I'm going to give up on directions here. You just go power slide <laughs> into a hallway. I like the thing he just like slams right into a closed door. Like, ow! And then it, and then he opens it up. Yeah. And then power slides through it again. Yeah. Um, you go through a bunch of different uh, twists and turns, um, staircases and whatnot. Whacking in a door after door. Until you eventually arrive at a library. A lot of these books in here have already been removed. In fact, it looks like there may have been a fire in here many, many centuries ago. And of course, some of it is covered in mucus, but overall this place is not as messy as the rest. 
Rooster lets out an exhausted, like, sigh. It's like, libraries. <laughs> my, or libraries. Library? <laughs> libraries, my, my enemy. You just take, like, mental damage from being inside the uh, library. Books. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You instantly get, like, exhausted or whatever. I mean, like, yeah, for somebody who can't read, libraries would be just the worst place. Boring. Just be, like, yeah, boring. Why does anybody look at these things? Picture books. Yeah. We only do so much. Color for Sadly, books. I don't know how many picture books you'll find in a temple. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <probably>. demon temple. <laughs> Spot checks. That one. That's fine. I got a three. Okay. So what wow. would you like to do? Yeah. We're, We're so good at this. I mean, he's not looking at these books. They're boring. Mm. I guess you guys are looking around. You're heading through the library. And are you setting a trap where? Like, are you doing it? Are you waiting for a certain queue? This, is it particularly slimy in here? Does it look like the creatures are in here a lot? There's some, but there's like, it looks like they've been through here a few times, but this is not a place where they typically stick around. Okay. That makes it seem, that's a viable spot for it. Then I think he will, he will set uh, the egg down on a table. Sure. And just and then kind of like maybe go over to Rooster and be like, I'm teach I'm gonna teach you how to set a trap. Ooh, okay. First things first, put the trap the bait down somewhere open where the prey can see it. Kind of gestures back to the egg on the table. That's a skull. Yes, quiet. It is supposed to look like an egg. Anyway, <laughs> step two. Pretend you do not see or cannot see the bait yourself, but keep an eye on it. How do you do that? Use your ears. I thought the skull was not able to talk anymore. Okay, why don't you just... He takes a book off the shelf, hands it to you. Pretend you are interested in, in this book. You are... No, pretend, try it. Try to be interested. Imagine on the inside it's alcohol. Uh, this is like the hardest thing today. Imagine it's a book about alcohol. Teaching you how to make fun drinks. Ugh. I don't really care about that stuff. But okay. if you learn about fun drinks, you can tell you can make fun drinks for people. Well, maybe it's a story about a really cool adventure. Okay, sure. It's a very while we while we are doing this, I'm keeping one eye on the bait behind me to see if uh if it's triggering any kind if the thing gets lured in. It does. Uh, yeah, he's gonna keep talking to Rooster about about what the book can be about, but he is definitely he's gonna use his other hand and start and put that discreetly on his weapon. It's mm -hmm. like, what if the guy was named Thomas and was like part part machine? Okay. And he had like a weird face on top. All right. And he made sounds that sounded like uh, like toot toot. Okay, that sounds. You just hear the distance. Like, no. <laughs> but he had a wicked sword. Okay. Was he pink? No, no. He goes on these like metal, metal roads. You just invent Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck, I was wondering when you were gonna pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, to yeah. Okay. What I want to, ha I want this to play out is like Core is just like, do you just invent Thomas the Tank Engine? And he turns around and whips the wep the weapon behind him at the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, you you make contact and um, you hear a screech and uh, it looks like you've like pinned his hand down to the table. What am I looking at? Who's this guy? You're looking at a you're looking at a very sickly human mm. oh. who has barely any clothes left on him. Uh, it's looking dirty, gross, and has been down here for a while. It's just golem. A little bit. Eat the eggs at last. Um, <laughs> Yes. Sustenance. And, <laughs> and I was just, just screaming, trying to get away from it. But yeah, you've got his hand like pinned down to the table. Mm, okay. Impaled well, with your axe. All right. Wait, great. We found him. Let's kill him. What? what? No. We, we are not doing this again. But the whole point was that I was no, supposed no, no, to talk no. to him. No kill, no kill. I swear to God. Hey, I told you the plan. You didn't even listen to me. <sighs> okay, fine. Your turn. What do, you, what, do you, what do we do now? We have to talk to him. Fine. We're talking. Hi. Uh, Are you stealing the eggs? Yeah. Stop stealing the eggs. No. Why not? Food. Okay, cool. Uh, question. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? I'm Rooster. This is Cor. <laughs> Bill. Bill? Nice to meet you, it's Bill. Weird name. Is it? It's a powerful name. Hi. Can you please let me go? Well, well okay, but why are you down here? I'm too weird to be on the surface. They make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of my no clothes. People don't, don't like me. I like you. 
Thanks. Yeah. But, okay, so then you're down here. Uh, we want to go kill the bugs. Um, and <laughs> me, me too. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Have you looked at them? <laughs> but you're, you're eating their eggs. You can't just jump. Okay, I was going to do a... Can you please take the axe out of my hand? You can't... Wait, what? what's that saying? Amelia told me it once. You can't judge a book by its cover. But I'm they a, are horrible monsters that are You can't judge a near, nearly naked man, though. That's I like a pretty... Like, no, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the bugs. Oh, my God. But they are horrible creatures that are eating everyone. The so. pain. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, we kind of don't want them to eat more people anymore. So we're planning to kill them. Uh, did you want to help? Yeah. Yeah? Please take the fucking axe out of my hand. Oh, my God. <sighs> if I don't take it out of his hand, if you keep bitching about it. Oh, that's much better. There, see? You just need a, you just need like a Band-Aid or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe grab some old pages from a book and like stuff them on his hand. You know, like paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> Use your blood, it'll be fine. Kapi. Spit too. Okay. Uh so we kinda wanna take out the bugs. Me too. Well they're trying to kill everyone. Which is not great. I like the villages. And I don't want them to fight anymore. And they're kinda evil. I think they're evil. They're probably evil. This whole thing is kinda weird, but I didn't expect a monster to be able to talk to me and now I'm just like Really morally confused. Um, so, you want to help us? Sure. Okay, great. So then we'll just, like, use this guy with us, burn the whole place down. Mm. We were going to come I in see here. you have my bag. What bag? Um, he points at the bag that you have, the bag of holding. No, it was another guy's bag. Such a false way to sense one of those. It's true, though. Yeah, you found it on a corpse. The rooster doesn't lie. Yeah, but that was... My friend's corpse, so it's my bag. Well, no. Also, well, okay, that does make sense. Yeah, I'll let you, <clears throat> I'll let you hold on to it for now. But I'm going to need the bag later, okay? I mean, you'll probably just steal it, won't you? Well, I need it. Why? It's important to me. Oh, well, okay, well, now I have to give it to him. <laughs> but right now, uh, I have a bunch of stuff in it that I actually... Later, later. Okay. It's got, like, a bunch of dog tags and stuff in it that I need to show proof that people died and that we're about to... It's it's a quest thing. You know, adventure stuff. Did you, you bring it. any fire? Uh, did I bring any fire? I mean, I have a lantern. Rooster does not have any of that stuff. Uh, we do have a big, like, gesture to sell the books. Eh. They're not on fire. They could be. Do you have a soul? These are sacred... I mean, they're from the other god, but, like... Still. <laughs> important and sacred texts. Can't but burn these. Can you read them? Yeah. Well, what do they say? I don't take one off, open it up. What do they talk about? Uh, let's see. You find a book that's about... Um, mm, t- today, disciple Denager died. Yeah. Historic texts. Very important. We should leave these intact. All right. That's fine. We can leave the books alone if you want them. Burn the bugs. Please. Yeah, we can burn the bugs. Yes, I can make a fire. But distract the queen first. Why? So you can steal the eggs. Maybe. No. Tell us your actual p- plan, please. No. <laughs> well, I am going to try to persuade him. Okay, go for it. Diplomacy. Also, I don't know why I gave this guy the most annoying voice, but suffer. 16. I need an item from the queen. Okay, what item? Is it the jar? Is it the jar? It's not the jar. Oh. Surprise. It's what she's sitting on. I need that. What is What is she sitting on? That's a secret. I can't, we can't keep doing this. I, we can't keep doing this. What? We, every time we find a guy, it's like, no, it's not me. I'm not the problem. It's this person. And then we have to go fucking do there and, and talk to them. <laughs> well, we already wanted to go kill the monster. <clears throat> Just move, queen. Give me a second. Then the fire. How do we move her? We She's massive. Time. We should just do the the quickest, simplest solution to this. We should kill him. No, what? Just quiet. Oh, my God. Shut up. 
We're kill him, give him to the bugs. The bugs will give us passage, and then we can go. But we have Nelly up there, and we told everybody we had Nelly's to Nelly's already dead. He's undead. He'll be fine. They don't eat undead. Yeah, but he said he wanted to go to the same place we're going. I'm sure he can get get there himself. On and the I have all the dog tags, and I have all the things that said the miners die. We have to go back up anyway. No, we don't. Yeah, that's kind of what I promised them. Mm, you promised them, too. Right, I did. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. already made the deal. Okay, all right, fine. All right, here's what, okay. here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to kill this guy. No! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> well, I don't want to kill him. Let me finish. Okay. We're going to kill him. We're going to give him... We're going to prove to the bugs that he's dead. We'll tell the queen to move somewhere else. That'll be our cost. They, she can move to a different place. Not not to Teak, but no, somewhere we don't care about them. And, and then we'll tell the people in the town about it, that they're gone now. We chase them out. And here we have their dead people so we can prove that they killed them. There's like a long pause. Uh, can you tell me that again? I really blanked out. I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. <sighs> we kill this guy. <laughs> No, 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 no. We show his corpse to the queen. Yeah. The queen owes us a favor. We tell her to leave. He runs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cor's gonna go after. Cor's gonna, just gonna fucking attack him. He's going. He's gonna attack him. With oh, the, you with gotta run. Uh, I only got an eleven to hit the fucker. <laughs> uh, with an eleven, you miss. Okay, we don't have to kill him, but we can show proof that he died. Yeah, he he jumps up onto a bookcase and he's like. We have to kill We're them. allies, not enemies. Work together. I haven't agreed to that. Oh, fine. How do we show he's dead without killing him? Well, like chop off his hand. Great. No. <laughs> well, it's already, I mean, I already did a whole lot of damage to it. Just let me finish the job. No, 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 no. no. I'm all right. I need hand. Need hand. No, give hand. Well, then you got to give up something. Your ear. I give you ear. And then you move queen. Sure. The queen will move when we ask her to move. If we oh. ask her to change location, then she will. This is so convoluted. Then we'll kill them, right? Yes, we'll kill the bugs. Cool. Mucus is flammable. So then... No, I have to... Well, I mean, I have matches. And we still have to prove that you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, wait. I know. Uh, give me some of your hair. Pulls out a few hairs. So he's got like three hairs left. Now he's yeah, like, does he one. actually he, have any hair? He's left? given you his last three hairs. Oh, look how really is just golem, isn't he? A little bit. Yeah. Okay, I put it on, and then I, I take the skull, that we have, mm. and I smash it a little bit, mm. uh, with like the back of my sword. Crack, crack, crack. Put some of the blood on his hand on it. Here, touch it. <laughs> That's infected. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be infected anyway, buddy. I killed a lot of things with that axe earlier. Mm. Okay. You are just gonna want to cut it off. Okay. Uh. Oh wait. We had to wash this first. <laughs> like just like you shake shakes it, it off. Shakes like shell the gook off. Yeah. Okay. Round two. Okay, and then slaps you with the <laughs> with the blood, and then puts the hairs on top. Okay. Cool. Looks like a looks like a good uh, dead guy. All right. Good. You're saved. Hooray. <laughs> and we're going to go burn these bugs. So I'm just going to make sure. Did you hear what he said? She She's sitting on something and we want to get her to move. And did, did you hear what he said about the mucus? No. It's flammable. He said the mucus is flammable. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So just keep in mind. Oh, also, Cora. Hmm. I have a stone that I want to use. It is, uh, and he pulls it out. And kind of shows it to you, and it's got like some symbols on it and shit like that. It's called a uh, thunderstone, and I'm gonna smack it real hard, and it's gonna make a really loud noise, and everybody has to like cover their ears or not. But it could deafen them for a while. So uh, I'll let you know before I use it. Okay. I'll yell, "Core the stone," and that'll be it. Okay. Or some other cool name. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll think of a really cool, like, thunderclap. Sure. Let's go with that. Lightning stone. What? Pick something. Can we move? name your anime moves later? I don't know what that is, but let's go. So, to, 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 uh, to clarify what it is you were implying earlier, if we set the entire place on fire, he can't get the item he wants to get from the queen? 
Yeah, it might be a bit challenging when everything's on fire. So we should move her first. Yeah, and get also the thingy. I think uh, this also might imply that we have like napalm all around us. So you're literally <laughs> yeah. standing yeah. in it in Don't. napalm. Okay, and you are been, you are coated in the stuff. Oh yeah, I mean I'm turbo sliding out That's of there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Though it would be pretty baller to light a bunch of napalm on fire and then power slide through it out of it. He just fucking comes out butt naked. <laughs> yeah. Pull his burnt clothes off. Okay. <laughs> All right. You points at the dude. You hide. And then we will get the item for you from the queen. He like, like fidgets with his hands. How? I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I beg. I need to beg. But please. I need it back. Okay. Well, are you promise? Me- no. Give me. Well, he didn't promise. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I promise. Give me the bag. Okay. Takes it. I'm ready. Okay. So you follow behind us, but don't be seen. Oh, I'm good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys head back to the central chamber. Power slide back out. Oh my god. Stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like never. You, Stop it. You guys like enter through the door, and um, Bill's left behind, like kind of like at the door. He's mm-hmm. hiding. So he's waiting for, like, a cue. Okay, I have the skull. Okay. So I power slide up to the queen. We are successful. You have returned. Yeah, I got uh, the dead guy. Well, actually, just part of the dead guy, because he kind of exploded. It wasn't great. What about children? He ate them. Oh, sad. Circle of life. Exactly. She's sad. You have a lot of them, though. Why do I care so much about this bug queen? I, I just, don't, I just I don't know do, why you guys care about I just, her. No, she doesn't. I don't know if you care about her. I don't know if for some reason I do. I mean, I'm like, aw. But <laughs> Rooster, like, he loves everyone. Mm-hmm. He he doesn't hate anybody. Even Marco, he's he still thinks is a friend. But he made a promise to his other best friends on the surface. So he kind of has to fulfill that. So, next... You return to surface to distract everyone so we can feast. When babies hatch, they will be starving. They will need a lot of food before we can leave. Okay, but when that? Tomorrow, we will begin our onslaught. Okay, um, before you do that, uh, he kind of like stops and turns to core. You owe us a favor first for finding the eater of your eggs. Yes, yes. And she lifts the jar over and hands it to Rooster. The jar of magic. Well, I mostly wanted something else. Do you not like the jar? The jar's okay. There are two of us. You only gave the magic jar to one of us. Oh. I also want something. I only have one jar. That, that is fine. I want you to, uh, he says, I would like you to come over here, and I uh, am a cleric, so I would like you to christen this item uh, as a a, a blessing from you and your greatness. Mm, A mortal custom, but I will oblige. Not mortal, sorry, um... Mortal was the wrong word. A um, surface, surface custom. custom. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to imply she's a god or something. No. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Like, I am a god. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. did you know? <laughs> He's not even gonna. T- I don't think he'll even take out. Well, he'll take out the, the old uh, item. He'll take sure. out a candle. Sure, a candle. Or sure, and he's like, okay, Ooh, come over here and bless this. A lit candle. <laughs> no, it's not even. It's not blessed. It's, it's not lit. No. Come and, over here and bless this. But it is licked because she comes over and licks the candle as her way of giving you a blessing you weird mm. surface person yeah. um but also as, as she walks you can you feel just how heavy she is because she shakes the ground with every step that she right. does uh, but she does move uh she was uh, nesting on an old altar and on top of that altar is a brilliant red mace like a morning star kind of thing Ooh. let's just say a morning star brilliant red morning star but it's broken in two pieces I'm doing my part. Yeah, I mean, Rooster's trying to make sure everybody's staying away from seeing anything. Yeah, and I just rolled for the guards, and they stay with the queen, so they also haven't noticed. Slippy old Bill. <laughs> Slippery Bill. <laughs> Slippery Slip- Bill. Slippery Bill heading over and shoved that weapon into his bag of holding. I see. And then he fucking books it. Okay, great. Uh, you got everything, Cor? We're leaving. Yes. 
we will go to the surface now and I think whenever he does this, he has to do like the hand cross behind his back so he doesn't accidentally make a promise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we will go to the surface now and distract them for you. Great. We will come tomorrow night. Okay, awesome. He's backing up. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. You back up. Um, they they believe you, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and the, the queen, oh, queen returns to her roost. Yeah. But notices there's something missing. Does she, though? No, the thing is that she very distinctly notices it missing. Despite her being so large, it's actually a little uncanny that she would notice such a relatively small item going missing. Oh, I'm starting to get a conjure a theory here, but that doesn't matter because we got light shit on fire and run away. Okay, uh, what are you doing? Just you dropping a candle or something? I mean, I, you're, we're close to the door. Yeah, we're, can yeah. we say that we're the, close to the door? The jig is up. We're, I'm lighting shit on fire. How do you do that? Mm, you just I pull out the match. Ah, shit, wait. Uh, It'd I'm be looking... hilarious if you guys are actually missing a source of ignition right now. No, that because would be he so can, funny. Because he can, he can light the candles. Yeah. I mean, as soon as she turns her back away and like heads back over, he can he can already start getting. Yeah. Like I'm just trying to see if I have anything magical to do. So with. she's turned around. She's noticed the item going missing, and she just lets out another one of these ear-piercing shrieks. Thunderstorm. And you drop a thunderstorm. I, but I say it. So basically, now everybody's deaf. The bugs are deaf, you guys are deaf, everybody's deaf. No, I said it before I dropped it. What? The thunderstone. His oh, I was going to say that even her shriek deafens. Ah. Uh, yeah. So I used a thunderstone for nothing? If you want, I can let you cancel your action. Yeah, maybe he like has it in his arm. or not Yeah, you, you can ready to throw hand. it, and then you already hear her shriek, ah. and your ears are ringing. Wah. Whoa! Okay. Uh, she did it you, before You better I do kinda... something quick because she's about to attack you guys. Okay, well, I mean, as soon as her back was turned and she was heading over to the nest, I basically, like, I'm starting to light a match. You're lighting a match? Yep. Perfect. And then I will just throw it into the muck. Okay. Go, go, go. Whoosh. Where's Bill? I don't Bill's care. Bill's long gone. You throw it into the muck and it quickly lights up. As I a... need to find Bill. No, I'm grabbing you. We are leaving. <laughs> He's fine. I already told you Bill ran off. I yeah. know, but I need to find Bill. He has my shit. Oh, no. So, everything lights you, up. <laughs> and as we basically described, this is, you know, highly flammable. So, the flames palm. are quickly growing all over the place. And you better book it if you don't want to burn alive. Yeah, Bill. Okay, great. Um, that that 20 movement speed is awesome. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I'm going to slide. Yeah. Slide. I'm going to see how quickly this fire moves. Okay, it moves at a rate of 30 feet per round. Yeah, okay, I better slide. Yeah. I'm sliding. Okay, you're sliding. Uh, give me a balance check. Hi, I'm bad at that. That one. I want to assist. How would you assist? Describe to me how. Uh, well, he's probably falling, right? Yep. So I'm going to grab him and pull him with me. Okay, give me a balance check. Eight. Eight? Okay, no, you try to grab him, but core face plants yeah. as you slip past <laughs> him. Uh-oh. Car! Or you have one round before this fire will reach you. And I'm just going to go back and forth between you guys because the bugs are too busy dying. <laughs> a massacre. A genocide. Yeah, you hear shrieking. It's, it's awful. This is a mess. No, not a problem. I just want to not burn alive. Yeah. Uh, so do you get up and just start running? Yeah, that's all I can really do. Okay. So both of you give me jump checks as there's corpses in your way that you have to cross over, <gasps> that you crossed earlier. Oh, I already described Rooster uh, tripping over it. This is so fine. This is great. <laughs> this is great. I'm awesome at these, at this sort of stuff. Uh, oh, actually, it's a jump is a strength check, so that's a little bit better. I got a 12. Uh, 26. Okay, uh, Rooster, no problem the at fuck, all. fuck, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got a lot. Um, Cor, you just barely clear it, but I'm gonna give it to you. So the mm. fire is right on your heels, though. Mm. You have no grace left, while Rooster can make one mistake. Um, Cor! Going into the main chamber, you're now back in the entrance hall, where the door was originally locked. Should I be mean and say the door's still locked? I mean, is it? Yeah, well, we never... It's actually specifically not locked anymore. Ah. Oh. It's open. Okay. Oh, weird. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Not super weird if you think about it. But through that room. Oh, oh the DM fucking Because Billy already left through it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Give me a balance check because there's a lot of bodies in here balance. to avoid. Mm, five. Six. Oh, my God. Okay, Rooster, um, you <laughs> you get lose your one free thing. And Core, 
You take five points of fire damage oh, no. as your leg begins to burn. <gasps> so I tripped over the thing, right? Yeah. Am I up? Uh, oh, right. Yeah, it's fine. We're not okay. going it, to... It's I fine. I put my You're finger up. in, and I get water, and I'm turning around, and I'm splashing cork. Oh, is it like a grease fire? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ah! <laughs> Come on, bro. No, so what actually happens is you put out the fire on his leg. You don't put out the fire overall. No, no, it's no, still but coming. I just want Core to be okay. But you, you okay? you've stopped him taking repeating damage. I'm good. Let's go. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Out you go. You're now out of the temple, but you still have to cross that bridge, which also had some of this gook on it. Oh, the jump. good. And the jump. Which means you're going to have to do one last jump check. The die. jump. It's nice knowing you, everybody. Thank you for listening to our podcast. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 11. And? Oh, no. Uh, oh, it's a jump check, right? Jump yeah. check. 12. That means I clear it. That was our thing last time. It was Core, 12. You clear it. <gasps> and Rooster, you... Okay. You almost clear it. Ah. Can I reach out and grab you? You hang onto the ledge. Okay. okay. As you just like, you just barely too short. Your foot slips ah. and you hang onto the ledge. And a little bit of that fire catches you, dealing you four points of fire damage. Ah. It's literally you're just hanging there, and like your back is on fire. Mm. Uh, that's a little hot. I will lift him out. I'm not even gonna make you roll for it. You can lift him out. Yeah, that's totally and, fine. and I'll just like pat pat like sorry microphone pat pat him yeah. on the back to just like beat the fire out real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also seeing ahead of you guys, you can see a familiar face running, okay. also getting away from Billy! the fire. We're also running. That's my stuff. You made it. I'm running after him. You run after him back through the tunnels. There is a bunch of burning bugs chasing after you guys, but I don't think any of them really reach you because they just all burn, shrivel, and die. And you're back in the tunnels with Bill. Or Bill. We did it! We're heroes! Like Thomas. The the one with the sword. I remember. (laughs) Yeah, this was a temple dedicated to Thomas the Tank Engine. (laughs) 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 One that's like a transformer running at people. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Okay, so, uh, you okay, Cor? You okay? I'll be fine. Okay, okay. I just want to get out of here. All right, Billy? Billy keeps running. Billy! I need that bag! No! Why not? Need it! I need the stuff in it! Okay. Dumps it out. Runs away. Uh... I put it in the jar. It's like a little jar. Like, you're not going to fit does, that stuff. Heck, does he jump everything out? Including the mace? No. Oh. How would he avoid that? Yeah, how would he avoid okay, that? Okay, no, you know what? Fair enough. I'll, let me think through it. Let me think through it. Um, so, okay, no. So he dumps everything out of the bag onto a pile. Mm-hmm. And then he just works to get the mace back into the bag. Can I grab the mace, too? I want to touch it. Okay, you can touch it. I grabbed the mace. Okay, uh, you feel real funny grabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry, which part are you grabbing? The head or the handle? handle. Because it snapped in half, right? Handle. Yeah, you, so you grab the handle. Um, Weird. You just feel um, like a screaming in your head when you the- hold onto the handle, but that's oh, that's all. Ha. If anything, it just kind of startles you. Ha. Just sounds like voices. <laughs> Give that back. Put it in the bag quickly. Now, what is it? Curse. Oh. Cool. Put it in the bag. All right, fine. Put it, <laughs> puts it in. Then he's like clutching it now that the mace is back in the bag. He's like, mine. Why do you need it? Because it's my precious. <laughs> <laughs> no. Copyright, copyright. The yeah. queen seemed very interested in the item too for a giant bug. They're drawn to powerful magic and divine items. Could I inspect the item without touching it? I am a cleric. I would like to ner- learn more about it. I will not touch the item. Only if you put your weapon down. Fine. Clunk. Okay. Uh, He will put it out on the ground. He's careful not to touch it himself. Is there any kind of, um, is there any kind of like roll I can make for like, I don't know, sensing the kind of magic that's attached to it? Is it familiar to me? Because if it's anything attached to Aberth, I'd be like, I know that that weird. You can make a religion check. And honestly, like whenever you, you can look at your skills and just tell me if you feel there's something applicable and you can justify it to me, I'll give you that role. Okay, I mean, if me you have knowledge look. arcana. The problem is that all of my knowledge stuff is intelligence based and I'm shit at intelligence. Well, what we can do is we can say a knowledge religion using your wisdom. 
because that's what you also use for your so spellcasting. could I just mark down my profession as religion? Sure, because I do have that would that would work. Out. You can do call it profession cleric. You know what? And I already started writing. Religion. We can do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will roll to relig- religion. <laughs> to do the religion. Do, yeah. do the religion. Mm, it's not One good. religion, please. I got a seven. And that's a big old mace. Mm. Can I try? Sure. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, Probably more about the magic because he held it. Yeah. Um, so Feels you shaky. haven't seen this kind of weapon before, mm-hmm. but you can clearly recognize that whatever magic was on it was of some sort of demonic origin. Hey, it kind of feels like you. That's a weird thing. I mean, kind it's a weird of thing to say. But it's it's like if like if Core was just awful, awful, evil, bad, bad news. If you, it was like your evil brother. Sure. As far as I know, I don't have a brother. Oh, pretty sure. Well, I don't think your brother would be a weapon. Well, I don't know how demons reproduce or how what they look like as a baby. We're never babies. We are just summoned. Oh. That's like me too. No, you are a baby. <laughs> no, I am not. Correct. You're right. You're a child. Anyway, I'm a man. He uh, Bill moves to put the bag, uh, the the mace, Morning Star. Where will you go bag. now, weird Bill? Mm, away. Find a place. Find a smith. Someone to help me put it back together. Okay. The dwarven town might have smiths. Mm, don't trust dwarves. Well, okay. Well, hold on. <laughs> Everybody can be trustworthy as long as you no. be friendly to them. No. Yeah. No. no. Okay, Billy. Well, we, you know, tried to help. You should probably, I mean, it is the desert. You might have a harder time out there like that. You should get clothes. Oh, probably. Give. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, I don't have any extra clothes, man. Sorry. Mm, he'll figure it out on his own then. Yeah. Goodbye, weird Bill. Bye. Goodbye. So uh, eventually you'll uh, get back to where you guys started and you crawl back out of the tunnel. You make a new hole or something. Rooster did take a handful of all the like, like dog tags and... And yeah, mining gear shit. Mm-hmm. So it's not all of it, but he's like, eh, in my pocket, good enough. Yeah, yeah, good enough. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you make it back out to the surface. Let's say it is, uh, you know, it's late afternoon, so you don't grill alive. And you make it back to the Blood Fang camp. Back to Bite Might. Bite Might. Bite Might. The guards see you approaching from a distance, and they already, like, like they wave to you and already flag down their leader. And you see Bite Might approach the front gate. Hey, Bite Might! Accompanied by Tinkerbell, the death hound, which is now, like, large-sized. Good news. We found what was taking and killing your men, and they are gone now. What? Gone? Like... What? Go we on. killed them. We set them all you on You killed fire. my men? No. No. Your men have, were eaten by the creatures. And then he he drop, he, he he opens up the pillowcase and drops half the creature. Ugh. On the, those, there Big was bugs. A, a nest of those. What is that? Dog bugs. Dunno. Didn't ask. Oh. Uh, and well, can then you, you go back and find out? No, they're already. I'm kidding. Uh, We got dog tags, like shows them. See, we found we found some of their uh, stuff. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I mean, glad glad you got the tags, but. Uh. Oh, also we got a jar, and he shows the jar, and it's you know it was full of water, I think now. By default, it's water. Okay, yeah, we got a jar. Um, it's magical though. Uh and he like puts his finger in, and he goes, uh, orange juice. Boop, orange juice. He drinks it. That's orange juice. He drinks like here, try it. And he takes a drink. That's delicious. You can keep it. Uh are are you sure? Well, yeah, because you said that your people were like hungry and stuff. It's like infinite or whatever. But it has to be liquid. Um Oh, smoothies. All day. Yeah. And also like uh I bet you could do uh what's that stuff that Melia makes? Puts his finger in. Pancake batter. Oh my god. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah. Good. Now you can stop fighting with the dwarves. Uh, 
Yes. I mean, we'll, we'll still poke a little bit of fun at them. I mean, the dwarves, you got to push their buttons a little bit, but this is amazing. Thank you. This, uh, I, 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 I don't know how I can repay you. You fought, you found our fallen comrades and you gave us life. Uh, well, no, Just I think, jar. I think there's a whole process on how people come to life. It's different. Oh, you understand? Like it's, we've been struggling here for a while. And now we have this, like, we're, this changes everything for us. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. Uh, Do you have any healers? Uh, yeah, of course. We, we can we can patch you up. Do you, are you hurt? Mm. Oh, yes, clearly. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Kor's been stabbed and burned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so tired looking. Yeah, um, he calls over some healers. And while they're, uh, some of their medicine's a bit rudimentary, um, they get you fully patched up. Much obliged. Yeah. And that is like, like they're happy to do that for you. Is there anything uh, we can like give you? Like we, we don't have much, but I don't really want anything. I don't really need anything. Oh, but oh, do you, you want to join the gang? You want to be a member of the Blood Fangs? No. Well, well we gotta leave. Oh. But I mean, if you give me a cool like points to the dog tags with my name on it. Yeah, we'll make you members. Yay! I'm okay with that. Sure. Yeah. Fine. So they they go over to a smith um, who uh, quickly like like stamps a dog tag for you guys. It's like a made in metal with rooster and core written on it. Nice. He hands one to each of you guys. Cool. I think you spelled my name wrong. What? You got two O's in there. Yeah. Yeah, that was just one. Like roster. Well, no, it's rooster, but that's what the O is for. The oo. Oh, oh, that's how you like to spell. It. Yeah. Okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it, and they do. They make you a new one. Kor also says to the leader, he says, one other thing. Mm. There is going to be a cargo barge leaving from the dwarven town probably today or tomorrow or in the next coming days. And he gets real close. He's like, don't interfere with it. Okay, yeah, um, you got it, mate. <laughs> it's all good. But hang on, we got to finish up this uh, this brotherhood because if you're going to be a member, yeah. we got to be blood brothers. Ooh, what does that mean? He cuts his palm. Oh, it, why'd you do that? Give me your palm. Okay. Cuts your palm open. Yeah. Now shake my hand. Slap. Squishy. Yeah. Gross squishy handshake. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> <laughs> now you're an official member of the Blood Fangs. Mm, bloody. Carry your dog tag with pride. Okay. Same thing. Turns to core. Sure. Give me your hand. Okay. Slice. Shakes your hand. Mm. Core probably has a mean, mean handshake grip on him. Yeah, I, I mean... Bite might does too. Yeah. And cold as hell. Oh, true. Core, oh, yeah. yeah, core is like chilly to the touch. Oh, that that's a chilly touch there. I've been told that. Says confidently like, brother. Uh, brother. Let's see go. Okay, well, all I kind of ask now is just, um, if we see each other, say hello. Of course. No, you're members now. Yeah. I hope we see each other again. You, mu- you have to visit us again. Bite might will always keep his eye on the horizon. We'll be ter- telling the dwarves about the incidents with the bugs, too, so at least you shouldn't be bothering each other too, too much now. Oh, we'll downgrade it to pranks. It'll be fine. Sure. Where's Nelly? Oh, hello there. Ah. The friends have returned. Yay, Nelly! I give him a hug. Ah. <laughs> Jolly good to see you again, friends. We became members. Ah, you did too. I, I did as well. And wow. He shows off a little dog tag. How did he do that? He doesn't have any blood. Oh, it was a little bit of a one-sided agreement. I see. Because I, I borrowed some from the the people you put down. <laughs> you borrowed some. Okay. It's all good. It, it works Well, out. we're going. We're going to go back to Linda. Oh, m- may I accompany you? Yeah, that's the whole point. Wonderful. Great. Off we go then. Okay. Let me get on Jessica. Of course, she's too tired now to put up a fight with this. Like, <laughs> get on the goddamn boat. Let's go. Okay. Uh, you guys hop on the sand sailor and... Pop back over to Geld, the mining town. By the time you arrive, it's getting fairly dark out. But you arrive there without further incident. We go up. We park Jessica. Make sure she's all safe and sound with all the hay she wants. Hey, it's you guys. <gasps> it's you with your serenading voice. You missed my concert. I did. I think it had something to do with uh, not killing a bunch of people. Um, What? Course, yeah. heading up the hill. Ah. <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, I gotta go. Oh. Uh, hmm. Well, then, later tonight, you come to my concert. 
We might be leaving tonight. Wait, no. When's your cargo leaving? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Then yes, I can. I mean, I don't know. Nenda will tell you it's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not secretly the entire linchpin of this whole this whole. I'm not the double We're agent. We're not secretly yeah. a hive mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not <laughs> secretly <laughs> in charge here. Uh, anyways, with my fuck up, yeah, you head up to Linda's office. She's just closing okay. up. She like literally is locking the door. Turns around, it's like, oh, you got the back. We are covered in goo and blood. Co- and yeah, everything. Well, you've been cleaned up. By the, by the oh, minutes. I thought we just You're got fine. healed up. No, you got like you got the bandages, but they cleaned yeah. you up a little. We've bit. come back bandaged up. I think you'd have yeah. to like whoa. hose them down. To be honest, they probably did. <laughs> Rister would love that. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, cool. let's he's say doing it's... the dog thing where it's like <laughs> <laughs> at the water coming at him. Yeah, the, the blood fangs hosed you down. They all do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are blood brothers. All so... right, boys, line up. <laughs> yeah, which they're doing now for the first time ever because of the jar. Oh yeah, right. They're really tight on like like food and water. So yeah. now with the jar, they're just like splooshing it. Yay, <laughs> mm. we're back. And you look like hell. Uh, welcome back. The blood fangs were not stealing your people. The bugs were stealing your people. I have the corpse with me. Oh, oh. These things had a hive in the desert. They were eating it. Both of your men from both sides. We killed them. They're on fire now and dead. Oh, that would explain the weird noises in the mines. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we killed them all. And then we became blood brothers with the blood gang. Blood fangs. They said uh, they wouldn't bother you as much anymore. They may still prank you. They said they were cool now. Why would they suddenly be cool? Because I gave them a magical jar. They won't be stealing your cargo anymore. We gave them, he gave them supplies to keep them from going hungry. Infinite. They were just hungry. Wait, you gave them an infinite it's a magic jar that feeds them? Well, you didn't bring it to me? Well, you have a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I don't have an infinite food jar on me. That would well, make down, life way easier. Well, they do, and they also think they need it more than you do. You guys are doing a whole, like, job here, and they're living off of nothing. Ah. Uh, you asked us to solve your problem. They wanted more food. Everything is solved. We're not doing this right now. Fine. Do we or do we not have passage on your boat tomorrow? No. Please. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> he was he was like going. <laughs> yeah. his, his hand is coming up. He's going for that for that dwarf throat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's, nah, I'm just kidding. Of course, uh, you guys can ride on the transport tomorrow since we're not going to be raided. We'll be good to go. We'll get you guys on the Bullet train first thing in the morning. Good. Bullet. Ferris Bullet. Ferris. Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that, you guys have the night to yourself. Well, not all to ourselves. Yeah, you have to go get serenaded by Kermit the Frog. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Sing us a song of your people, Kermit. Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Me, 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 I me. can't. I can't do singing. Okay. Uh, Rooster's going to go and enjoy that, but he, he definitely is like super excited and enthralled by it, if anything. He oh, just... Thank you, my adoring fans. You've made a man happy. Is it just one fan? It's just you. Yeah, it's just, it's just me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's clapping. You made, so you've excited. made his day. You've absolutely made his day. Wow. And Nelthor is there actually too. Nelthor is there okay, with you, and so he's also too. Nelthor is giving him a giving him a handful. Yeah. But is there anything you guys want to do? You've won. You've succeeded. You've got your passage for tomorrow, and you became a brother of the blood uh, fangs. I mean, I think Cord just kind of like he he excuses himself from the concert and he goes to like you know do his nightly prayer and to relax. This has been a lot on him today. Oh yeah, this has been a lot of testing his nerves, and he's probably just doing like a little bit extra praying today. I'm just being like, Gabriel, please fucking help me through this. This guy, this kid's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm going to kill this kid. Abrith, please give me the power to not murder this child. Rooster bursts through the door. <laughs> what? what? Car! What? We're going to do Cor- a party. Give me a, a will save, please. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Do an unarmed attack on Rooster. The fuck? That is a 12. Okay. Does it hit you? 12 doesn't hit. Okay, so whoosh, a fist goes flying past you. So was it just a <laughs> reflex? Like how just, like when you jump up, you scare somebody from behind? And You're not go, quite ah. sure what that was. Huh. Yeah, he he pulls to the side as you miss. And, and to be honest, he doesn't look phased at all. He's just like, <laughs> okay, so Cora, we're doing a party. Do you want to join tonight? No. 
Oh, no, I've had a long day and I want to be left alone. Oh, okay. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. I've had a long, it's been a long day and I'm tired. Okay. You go d- enjoy your evening. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And then he's just going to like try to power slide down the stairs, but it, it doesn't work. <laughs> ah, Rooster, <laughs> when you get back down, you weren't kidding. There is a party in your honor hosted by Linda and paid for. Yay. Plenty of food and drink to go around. Your names roughly guessed and spelled on the on a board. And like, hey, we're celebrating the guys who freed up our transports. Uh, so Rooster's going to have a great time. <laughs> yeah, he parties hard. <laughs> He doesn't, like, that shit doesn't phase him. Guys, let me in, please. Kermit the Frog is definitely invited. <laughs> uh, yes. <Yeah. laughs> and uh, he's going to make, uh, like, he's going to party really hard, but then he's going to make up a plate for core, oh. like a bunch oh. of food. Mm. Um, probably just, to be honest, it's not a great arrangement because it's a lot of, like, pancakes. And then he puts beef on top and then he puts gravy and then gummy bears and then some whipped cream. R- Rooster you feel like when you do that and you start like walking away with it you feel a gentle hand on your shoulder ah. and it's Nelthor. Oh. He says is that uh, for our other friend? Yeah. Would you allow me to help? Well, how so? Well it's a little uh uh, messy, more according to your taste rather than his taste. A bit high on the calories. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, if you think you you got it, allow me. And then he just he kind of just rearranges things and maybe adds a couple missing things to your plate. And now it's just like a beautiful kind of like feast dinner plate. Okay, I appreciate that. And uh, he goes up to his room, but he's not gonna he's not gonna knock or anything. Uh, and he leaves it in front of the door. Aww. Yeah, he's not going Aww. in. Because Cora said he wanted to be alone, and mm. Rooster gets that. So uh, he leaves it, and he goes back down and enjoys his party. Mm. Mm. I think I think after the incident where he almost punched Rooster in the face, <laughs> I think Cora's kind of having one of those, like he's sitting with his own thoughts, and he's kind of like, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. It's been a long, a long day. And then he eventually smells the platter outside the outside of the room and, and and opens it to see the food there. I hope there's a little note that's got Rooster like drawing <laughs> on it. Yeah, it's like, like, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah, and also maybe, like, it's Rooster and Nelthor being like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think he looks down at the platter and looks at the note and then, like, sighs and goes, you can do this, okay. He <laughs> takes, the, takes the platter and he's like, all right, yeah, tomorrow is another day. And then Kor... You notice that note, as you set it aside, that was with the dinner? Mm-hmm. Its letters start to shift. Oh, okay. It reads, protect my weapon. Very well. Hey, I hope you liked this episode of Fool's Gold Sands. If you'd like to see more of our stuff, like all the comics and character art and everything we're posting, you can go to foolsgold.fun slash sands to check it out there. If you'd like to support us, there's also a tip jar on the website. So go check it out and I'll see you next time.